Now welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with more Lightning Takes. And let's get right to the news. Alright, we're going to talk about Thrawn because Dave Filoni has now spoke up a little bit about Thrawn okay. from the Ahsoka series. That was Thrawn in the Ahsoka series? Yes. Oh, well that's a surprise. For one, he has told us it's Thrawn. <laughs> that's about the only way I knew. <laughs> we know in Ahsoka this was Grand Admiral Thrawn's first appearance in live action. He keeps getting... I don't know, watered down them. Yeah, I thought uh, Rebels Thrawn was watered down. And I thought, well, okay, it's a kid's show. You yeah, know, it was like there's can... Legends Thrawn. Yeah. Books Thrawn that are canon. And then well, that's Rebels. Legends Thrawn, yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about the new canon books Thrawn. Oh, and, oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then there's okay, Rebels so, Thrawn. Yeah. And then there's this Thrawn. Yeah, the new book Thrawn is not this Thrawn. I can tell you that much. No, this Thrawn looked so, like, weak. Yeah, Thrawn is absolutely brilliant. I mean, he, he's smart in the old books too. Don't get mm-hmm. me wrong, but like, especially in the new books, I feel like Zahn has really delved deep into the mind of a, 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 just an absolute genius who just like sees everything and yeah, except and for politics, they he did can't not figure that shit do out. that so well in the show. I don't understand Thrawn's choices. They didn't show us like there was no like grand reveal that all of Thrawn's choices led to what we didn't get anything, making no. Thrawn look kind of lame as a villain like i said before he kind of runs out the clock that that's how i feel about him like he had an advantage mm-hmm. he held on to that advantage to his credit i suppose and he wins but he didn't really do anything like special in I fact know. he made a lot of blunders that you would think well if he would have done that wouldn't it have just been easier well he didn't want to waste resources sure of course not even and though yet. even one jedi can be a huge threat but we don't mm-hmm. want to do anything to try to eliminate that one jedi like i don't know bomb him from afar well, all they had to do is keep targeting, like, their ship or yeah. their mode of transportation. Instead, they're like, yeah. We'll send out, like, ten stormtroopers against the Jedi. That'll that is work. Brilliant. That, don't, that won't waste any resources. Oh. Yeah. That's Thrawn. That or is, is it? That's the twist. It's not Thrawn. <laughs> I figured it out. Well, Dave Filoni at one time has teased, it was earlier this year even, that he was going to set up Thrawn as the main villain of the New Republic era stories. And he's kind of doubled down on that. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When he shows up, right? When he shows up. I mean, we don't even know when he's going to show up next. Oh, I meant he... like when the real Thrawn. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm Thrawn. done with that. That joke is done. We don't have any sort of confirmation about a season two of Ahsoka. But Filoni still says that the threads have been set up this year and will be followed up soon. The word soon, I don't think he knows the meaning of. Mm, I don't think Years anybody Years is not soon. Anybody in that industry doesn't understand what soon means to other <laughs> people outside of it. Yeah. Filoni was doing a kind of like an end of the year review issue, speaking with Empire Magazine. And he kind of hinted that, well, you know what? In The Mandalorian, they introduced that character, Captain uh, Pelion. Yeah, well, he's introduced before, but yes. into the canon. But yes, they the didn't new canon. introduce him for nothing. I hope not. <laughs> In, in the Heir to the Empire trilogy, Paleon was Thrawn's, like, right-hand go-to yep. guy, right? Yes. Yes. They yes. were pallies. Yeah. I, I Maybe not the word I choose is pallies, but... <laughs> Super friends? Much better. Super <laughs> friends, yes. Cohorts. Yeah. Dave said, we set up Captain Paleon in The Mandalorian, and that's a character that goes with Thrawn, so I'd love to see the two of them together. I'd love to see Eli Vanto as well from the new books. It's kind of a, a Pelion version, a new Pelion in a way, I Pelion guess. Pelion 2. Point kind of a took him under his wings and kind of mentors him, saw a little That's kind glimmer. Of nice. Yeah, it, it, it's a really good character. And he kind of goes off to the Chiss Ascendancy. And, oh, that's right. He goes off to yep. kind of, yeah, yeah. It's like an exchange program. <laughs> <laughs> Thrawn will stay here yeah, in the you Empire get guy, and yeah. you get this guy. I'm sure he'll help you or something. Yeah. Well, he learned a lot from Thrawn. He, he's a good character. And, and I mean, I'm, I'm happy Pelion yeah. is in the new canon as well, but I It'd would like to see It'd be great to actually Eli. have even the, maybe the books continue using him so we can see what's happening that with the Chiss. That would be Chiss. cool, yeah. Because we know that Thrawn disappeared for a long time, so what's happened to the Chiss in all this time? Yeah, and what happened with the Grisk, and there's a yes. lot going on there that they left just hanging, and then Thrawn's like, I want to go conquer the galaxy, but I forgot about my people, I guess. Which was his entire Which was his reason. main motivation, yeah. yeah. But in Star Wars Rebels, when they introduced Thrawn, he... His main rival was Hera Syndulla from the Ghost Crew. Mia. If you had to say who his main yeah, yeah, I, I guess, villain yeah. 
villain. Oh, his, his main villain, villain yeah. from his point of it view. It was it was general. From my Hera point of view, Sindula. the rebels are evil. They had inter like individual confrontations with each other. He kind of mocked She's, her about her culture and her. He stole art. her calicoa. I think that's what it's called. Calicori? Calicori. That's like a cat. I kind of confused it with a cat or something. <laughs> a My calico bad. cat? Yeah. He stole her cat. He, I was looking at a cat. She was and real just mad. Like, she stole our cute cat and he stole... I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I mean, Hera didn't play a big, huge part, especially in the second half of Ahsoka where she like didn't show up again. But Filoni has plans. He said, Thrawn's foil throughout Rebels was Hera. Pitting the two generals against one another is something that I find interesting. Um, it's an admiral. That's why Admiral Akbar was, was like foil in the. <laughs> but he wants two admirals. The two of them together what it again. Called the admiral trilogies. He wants those two to go. I mean, that is Hera's yeah. white whale. Everyone's like, you want to go after Ezra? Or you're just looking for Thrawn. <laughs> well, I'm not looking for Ezra. He was like. I a think son Dave's to me. like, no, she really was just yeah, looking it was for Ezra. Thrawn. Well, really, I, I, I would <laughs> no. think she's looking more for Ezra than she's worried about Thrawn. I mean, that was she's worried like, about Thrawn because well, she knows sure, what he's, absolutely. She's one person who is very yeah. knowledgeable what he's still capable of. S- stole her cat, yeah. <laughs> stole her cat, killed her boyfriend. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, actually, not really. He was involved ish. Sort of. Well, was he more, had yeah. her kidnapped, and then he's the, did the cool mustache twirling thing where he leaves the room so that somebody <laughs> else can go and save her, but he wasn't there, so it wasn't his fault. Sure, yes. Yes. I do want to see him reforge some of these old connections, like how we wanted to see what would happen when Sabine and Ezra talked, and that was off screen. So do you think that, <laughs> do you think do you think that he'll put those two in a room and like close the door and it'll be like uh, next episode next they're episode, done with their yeah, in depth conversation of mockery? I fear this. This I time fear, he'll steal her child. I fear that Dave Filoni kind of fears big moments. That like the whole Ahsoka Luke thing. Like we mm-hmm. didn't see their first meeting. We saw like the Tuesday after where they were already <laughs> done with everything. And it's like, ah, huh. well, they're just having casual conversations now. All the yeah. big important things have been yeah. talked about. Yeah, you remember that thing we talked about the other day? Yeah, that we didn't show the audience. But no, yeah, I, I love that Sabine never even had to tell Ezra about what she did. No, even got though she was terrified. And then the next episode, it's like we got to go stop Thrawn. Well, yeah, but what was that talk like when you yeah. told Ezra about how you got here? And why Ahsoka showed up separate and, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Yeah, and why you thought Ahsoka might have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, little the things. little things. <laughs> Small details. <laughs> All right, so Lars Mikkelsen also spoke to Empire about his thoughts on the character and what he thinks his main motivation is at that point. Straighten out all the others and tidy up the shop. I could imagine something in terms of a power play within the Empire. So it sounds like he's under the impression that Thrawn has to come back, and before he can really set up the next great thing, he has to band the Imperial remnants together again. I mean, remember, Gideon kind of had them split into factions of, you know, yeah. we're, we're going to do cloning stuff and take over the Mandalorian homeworld <laughs> uh, and do these weird stuff. things. Yeah. And the other guys are like, no, man, we're just waiting for Thrawn. Yeah. You do your cloning thing of yourself, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. cool and all, I guess, but... 40 chess. <laughs> That wasn't the real Gideon. I still refuse to believe it. It was a clone of Gideon who probably disposed of the real Gideon who didn't realize how smart his clones were going to be because, I don't know. Mm. It is. It's, but then he's going to come back because, you know, no one's ever really gone. Well, you need somebody to be, like, the leader of the faction that's going to be against Thrawn so that Thrawn can defeat the other faction and win them all over. And then he has them and his Night Sister army to fight the Mandalorians for the big movie or something. Cool. I, don't I know, just I, gave you like Dave's whole plot line. I hope there's there'll be a no lot serious conversations it. and just a lot of action. Like the Night Sister thing is interesting because he's got like I don't even remember. It wasn't that many knights. It's not it like was an a lot. army. It took, yeah, them, but, it took him days though. Remember? Well, I, well, I to remember load that. Up the yeah, caskets. that I remember. But there, there was more than initially it seemed. But it mm. still isn't like a lot. Like if you're gonna win a war, you need a lot of soldiers, well, not a lot of undead zombies. Plenty of dead bodies on Dathomir. Jeez, too soon. Too soon. Too soon. All right. Well, it's been a it's been a while. We've actually it's had fine. both in terms of story, story and, and since and we and got that story. Yes. Yes. So he's going to have his force army plus his imperial army. See, this is where he gets to look like a genius. Is when he's going against the rest of the imperials to, to seize control. There, there they'll show Thrawn to be the genius that he is, and then they'll put him against Hera, and he'll be like. Huh? Oh, she's so smart. She's so smart. But the Imperials were so dumb. No wonder why we lost the war. (laughs) What do you mean Hera wasn't even in charge of the whole war? 
I thought she must be. She must have been. By my calculations, oh, she should no. have been. I don't but know why I'm talking like this. That's the wrong. We don't know where these storylines are going to pop back up. Neither does Dave Filoni. We're assuming maybe we're going to start seeing some stuff going on in Mandalorian Season 4 because the galaxy will know Thrawn is back because Ezra came back and was like, Hey guys, I didn't come back alone. My bad. <laughs> I brought Thrawn back too. But don't worry. Sort of. Nobody saw him take that shuttle and leave the ship. Nobody. Nobody. Not on Thrawn's watch. <laughs> Not on Thrawn's watch. No Not one, on Thrawn's No one gets watch. a thing past Thrawn. And don't worry, those uh, great mothers he had with him didn't sniff out an actual Jedi. Yeah, even though they Only... could sniff him out from like miles <laughs> well, away. They, they could sniff they out Sabine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say like... that she smelled like a Jedi. But Ezra's like, no man, you just put on the Stormtrooper armor, it blocks their senses. That's what oh, the Stormtrooper armor does. Maybe hanging out with the crab people is what blocked the scent. Maybe they don't. They smell like the opposite of Jedi, so it yeah, kind of no. nullified it all. <laughs> Yeah, they, they like see Sabine like, oh, that one reeks of Jedi. Yeah, reeks of like, Jedi. really? But She's Ezra's never like even on done the anything. ship, walking around, yeah. <laughs> doing who that. knows what, taking the shuttle out, leaving. Not a, uh, not nope. a whiff. Nope. Not a whiff. Uh, uh, it all makes sense. Don't worry. Filoni's got it figured out. He'll fix it. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll, it'll be, be fine. fine. Don't worry about it's it. All, it just makes sense. Just, just believe. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was all the news. Oh, okay. We can, we can be done ripping on... Hey, I Thrawn. I don't even know what we're working on. Fingers crossed they iron this out, but Ahsoka was kind of a, a bump in the road for sure of the Mando. It had in my some opinion, good moments. As was Mando season three. It, it had it had some good moments, but the whole story was kind of like, eh, okay. I mean, I, I see what you were trying to do, mm-hmm. but I don't know that you succeeded exactly in what you really wanted to kind of. You wanted to, I think, build up these characters, especially for people who don't know them, and I don't know that you pulled it off. Not successfully. I don't know when that show ended. Or people are like, "Oh my god!" You know, people don't know. Like, "Oh, this strong guy, he's so cool." And what you know, I want more from Ezra and Sabine. I want all more from all these characters. I don't know that that's like the general feeling that the average casual fan or normie was left with after Ahsoka. Sorry for the downer note there at the end. Yeah, we were having such fun too. I know, and it's like almost Christmas. We should be bringing it up. But for now, though. That's all we got for this time. Now it is your turn to take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of any and all of today's news or what we discussed. And let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.